ஃபிலியேஷன் அஃபிலியேஷன் எட்வர்ட் சயத் இன் ஹிஸ் ஒர்க் த வேர்ல்ட் த டெக்ஸ்ட் அண்ட் த கிரிட்டிக் ஆர்கியூட் தட் த டூ ஃபார்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் பிலாங்கிங் ஆர் காமன் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் த்ரூ லீனியேஜ் அண்ட் ஃபேமிலி லைன்ஸ் விச் ஹி கால்ட் ஃபிலியேஷன் த செகண்ட் த்ரூ கல்ச்சுரல் ப்ராக்டிசஸ் அண்ட் கனெக்ஷன்ஸ் விச் ஹி டேர்ம்ட் அஃபிலியேஷன் ஹி ஆர்கியூட் தட் த கேனன் ஆஃப் இங்கிலீஷ் லிட்ரேச்சர் வாஸ் பில்ட் அப் ப்ரைமரிலி த்ரூ ஃபிலியேஷன் where predecessor texts are seen as the fount of wisdom that need to be replicated and reproduced in some way or another patterns of filiation like heritage or descent that had acted as a cohering force in traditional society were becoming increasingly difficult to maintain in the complexity of contemporary civilization and were being replaced by patterns of affiliation while filiation refers to lines of descent in nature affiliation refers to a process of identification through culture sayed promotes affiliation as a general critical principle because it frees the critic from a narrow view of text connected in a filiative relationship to other texts with very little attention paid to the world in which they come into being an affiliative reading allows the critic to see the literary work as a phenomenon in the world located in a network of non literary non canonical and non traditional affiliations while filiation suggests a utopian domain of texts connected serially homologously and seamlessly with other texts affiliation is that which enables a text to maintain itself as a text the status of the author historical moment conditions of publication diffusion and reception values drawn upon values and ideas assumed a framework of consensually held tacit assumptions presumed background affiliation sends the narrow critical gaze beyond the narrow confines of the european and canonical literary into this cultural texture The concept of affiliation is useful for describing the ways in which colonized societies replace filiative connections to indigenous cultural traditions with affiliations to the social, political and cultural institutions of empire. Syed links the concept of Gramsci's notion of hegemony by suggesting that the affiliative network itself is the field of operation of hegemonic control. and this may be particularly evident in the case of the control of imperial culture there is an affiliative process constantly at work in colonized societies an implicit network of assumptions values and expectations that continually places and replaces the colonized subject in a affiliative relation with the colonizer affiliation invokes an image of the imperial culture as a parent linked in a affiliative relationship with the colonized child thus while filiation gives birth to affiliation in colonized societies the reverse is also true filiation is not limited to racial or genealogical ancestry its real force comes from its suggestion of a cultural and psychological inheritance filiation is a powerful ideological consequence of the capacity of imperialist discourse to control representation and invoke networks of affiliation it becomes a fundamental way of structure in relationships between empires and colonies since it is by this process that the cultural power of the imperial center and the sustainable rule of the mechanisms of state are maintained